Hi, kumusta kayo dyan sa Capitolio? Ako si Dingo Espinosa. Nandito ako ngayon sa Santa Rosa, Laguna. At uh, nais kong basahin yung artikulo sa pahayagan nung uh, January 2 sa Inquirer. Nagsulat si Butch Hernandez tungkol kay uh, Engineer Olaso, Engineer Apin, at uh, aking babasahin para ipamahagi sa inyo kung ano talaga itong uh, pakulo natin dito ngayon. So, ang, ang title is Learning from Experience. Ang nagsulat ay si Butch Hernandez ng uh, Inquirer. So, akin na lang babasahin, no? Learning from Experience. Etukas is a small non-profit organization operating out of and sustained by the Barrio Capitolio community in Pasig. This NGO's core advocacy falls under the purview of educational reform. Currently, EDUCAS sites list Capitolio High School as a program beneficiary. EDUCAS caught the attention of the Foundation for Worldwide People Power a couple of months back when we learned of their cutting-edge 21st century approach to improving learning via several videos posted on the internet by the KHS Capitolio High School students themselves. A notable EDUCAS intervention is simply called the e-library. Essentially, a server loaded with, the, with as much as 1 terabytes worth of multimedia information, the e-library can potentially cover just about every aspect of the basic education curriculum. This server links to the school's existing local area network, where both students and teachers can access and download the information they need for their schoolwork through a very user-friendly interface. The total cost of ownership of the e-library is surprisingly quite affordable now that the prices of large capacity hard drives have been steadily going down. For added savings, the e-library runs on free open source software like Ubuntu or Linux and uses Plone to manage web content. For te technical support and advice, Educa Sites regularly consults with Multimedia Studies Professor Bingo Espinosa of the UP Open University. Espinosa, in turn, references a similar digital project he worked on with the schools in the Pagadian Diocese. Serafino Lasso, EDUCAS president, explained that the idea came to him rather serendipitously. Being an engineer by profession, Serafino is no stranger to technology and the discipline of precision. However, Serafino has a lot of time on his hands by virtue of his being an 80-year-old senior citizen, albeit a very active one. Serafin became computer literate when he turned 70. Those sleek machines that his grandchildren worked and played with were amazing, especially with this thing called the internet. No need to go to libraries and pore over books. A wealth of information with video and sound was right beneath his fingertips. Best of all, there were free international video calls via Skype or Yahoo Messenger. With much encouragement and coaching from his grandchildren, Serafin was surfing the web soon enough. On the other hand, quite a number of his senior citizen friends and neighbors in Barangay Capitolio found computers either mystifying or downright annoying. But they all wanted to learn how to use them. Naturally, they turned to Serafin for some hints and tips. It's not what you know, but it's who you know and what who you know knows. Ad Libyan from uh, what's this uh, professor's name? Uh, Prahalad. Okay. Not long after that, the senior citizens thought of organizing themselves into a learning support group. In 2007, Serafin organized EDUCAST and the Senior Citizens Network Community Hub became their first project. With the support of Barangay Chairman Noel Bahara and Barangay Senior, C senior Citizens Committee Head Rory Laigo, the NCH project be began to gather steam. They were able to put together 20 computer computers that they would use for their basic computer literacy sessions. So, yan ang ginagawin nyo for the next couple of weeks. Yung mga senior citizens, okay, uh, matutudo mag-web surfing at iba-iba uh, pang mga pwedeng gawin sa internet. Serafin, meanwhile, went online to get the learning modules. They approached the parish priest who allowed them to use one of the rooms in the church. However, 
just when their learning sessions were about to start, the parish priest term ended and their placement and his replacement decided to use the room for some other project. Unfaced, the senior citizens decided to revise their project goals. Who else to learn who else needed to learn about computers, they asked themselves. Pasig City Representative Roman T. Romulo, a member of the House Committee on Basic Education and Culture, had the answer. The public school students. With Romulo behind them, Serafin approached the office of Norma Dohelio, NCR Deped Director for TechVoc, and Domingo Vinas, Capitolio High School Principal, who both warmly welcomed the EDOCAS trainers, the 20 computers, and the learning modules that came with them. That was just a little over a year ago. Recently, Principal Vinyas has asked EDUCAST for more digital content and teacher training sessions for 2010. To meet the need, Serafin says that se, <clears throat> to meet the need, Serafin says they thought of the e-library when they saw that not all public schools had internet access. Using existing web technology, EDUCAST mines cyberspace to download relevant digital content and tags them so that the server's content management software, this is what we call Plow, which is open source, <coughs> so that the server's content management software can access the data on demand. The updates are easily uploaded to the e-library without with using using <coughs> cut. The updates are easily uploaded to the e-library using high capacity USB drives, which have also become quite cheap. What happened to the basic literacy session for the senior citizens of Capitolio High School? The slight delay turned out to be for the best because now they can count on the students of Capitolio High School at the this club to show them what computers and the internet are all about. This was written by Butch Hernandez. You can contact him at butchhernandez, one word, at gmail.com. Butch Hernandez is the executive director of the foundation for worldwide people power.